in the next few moments, you're going to step into the manifest presence of God and experience greater days than what you've ever experienced before. Greater miracles, greater love, greater power. Well, several things are about to happen in your life as we take Holy Communion together today. First, you're going to get a revelation of what communion really is. The, the body and the blood of Jesus is more than a symbol. It's the power of God that the gates of hell cannot prevail against. When you get a hold of this message today, no devil in hell is going to be able to rob you of your blessing. And secondly, during this show, I'm praying for the blessing of God to come upon you and overtake you in a powerful way. Not just any prayer, but prayer that is guaranteed through the shed blood of Jesus Christ. And third, we're going to take communion together physically. We're going to take communion together and the power of God is going to manifest in your life as it has never before. You're going to receive answers right here through the power of communion. Breakthroughs in your life right here through the power of communion. It doesn't have to be a one-time thing, though, or something that you, that you do every so often. Communion is supposed to be a part of our daily lives or part of our lives on a regular basis. The body and blood of Jesus contains so much power and so much blessing, but many of us are missing out on the daily benefits of His body and of His blood. And I want to show you how to experience every one of those benefits beginning today. It doesn't matter if you were raised Catholic or Presbyterian, Baptist, Methodist. When you get an understanding of the whole idea of communion, it transforms the way you look at life and the way you look at your relationship with God. You know, in 1 Corinthians chapter 10, I want to read you a verse, um, verse 16, and it says this, This cup of blessing which we bless, is it not the communion of the blood of Christ and the bread which we break? Is it not the communion of the body of Christ? In other words, when we eat the bread, when we drink the cup, we are literally communing, fellowshipping with Jesus, fellowshipping with His presence, experiencing His presence. One, one translation in the Bible describes the bread in the Old Testament as the bread of His presence. It's literally called the bread of His presence. We're mingling our presence with His presence. We're becoming one together. And whatever He is, is what we are. Whatever He has, we have. Well, that's what communion means. It means to commune together, to fellowship together, to exchange life together. But many of us have been robbed of this power. Many Christians, they do it as a ceremony. They do it as a tradition. But we've been robbed of the blessing because of traditions. Some of us have been taught that if we eat the bread or drink the cup without completely cleaning up our lives, then something bad is going to happen to us. They've misunderstood the Scriptures. But they're, folks, they're really, there are already bad things happening in our lives. Bad things have already happened to you. But this blood, this cup, it's going to reverse the curse. It's going to turn things around and it's going to change your life and manifest God's power in your life. Well, there has been so much misunderstanding about communion in the world and even among the body of Christ. And just recently I was asked by a woman if she could take communion at church even though she was married to somebody who had been through a divorce in the past. She had been told by her church that because he had been through a divorce that neither of them were able to participate in communion. She was told she'd have to leave him before she could take communion. And folks, communion isn't supposed to divide us from our husband or wife. It's supposed to divide us from our pain and divide us from our frustration and divide us from our negative feelings and it's supposed to divide us from Satan's power. That's what communion does. It doesn't divide people. It divides you from Satan's power. And I told this woman, absolutely not. You don't have to leave your husband to take communion. You take communion anytime and do it by faith. Nobody can control us and stop us from taking communion because we haven't followed all of the regiments of religion or tradition. God wants to fellowship with you through His body and through His blood. I know that some people may feel like they have to make sure everything's right in their life in order to take communion, but listen, it's the blood that makes us right. It's His body that makes us right. 
That's what this is all about. And just that little bit of truth set this woman free from so much. It set her free from guilt. It set her free from condemnation. And it set her free from wrong thinking. But I want you to understand that God wants you to experience His manifest presence. So many people have been healed taking communion. You're going to hear great testimonies. They've overcome depression and suffering because of the power of the blood of Jesus Christ. I've seen people who have literally been freed from addictions that they've had for years and decades because the blood of Jesus is that powerful. Now, God can heal us and touch us in many ways, spiritually, physically. You know, sometimes people take medication and that helps if they're dealing with any sort of sickness or disease. But, but listen, and I'm not against medicine, but so often we put our confidence in medicine and then we wonder how powerful the blood of Jesus could actually be. If we're going to have confidence in the medicine and the medication that the doctor prescribes, how much more? should we have confidence in the blood of Jesus that God Himself prescribes. Oh, there's so much power in this blood and so much power in His body. Before we go on, I want to share with you one of the testimonies of somebody whose life was truly changed by understanding this communion life, this communion experience. Again, it's more than a tradition. It's more than a ceremony. It's the power of God manifesting in our lives. So no matter what you've done wrong or what you've done right, you can take communion. No matter what denomination or religious background you come from, you can take communion with me. As long as you believe in the power of Jesus' sacrifice for you. We're going to do it at the end of this broadcast. And if you have some juice, some crackers nearby, whatever you have available, I want you to get them ready because we're going to take communion together at the end of of this program. So first I want to, I want you to hear though this testimony that I received from a woman who was dealing with excruciating pain. Watch this. It is amazing. Four years ago I tried to uh, start, you know, losing weight. So I started uh, playing tennis and jogging. And from the weight, the impact, um, I uh, caused my foot to become extremely flat and um, the uh, tendon in it ruptured. Well, it didn't rupture, but it was stretched to the point of rupture. So I went to the doctor and they wanted to rebuild an arch in my foot and clean up the uh, tendon. And I was afraid, so I said no. So I wore a cast for six weeks and I went uh, to a chiropractor for, and I got therapy for it. And it really did no good. It took the, uh, being in the cast took the uh, pressure off my foot, so it wasn't, it's painful. But over the years, you know, from not losing the weight, um, it just, you know, stretched real thin to the point of rupture. And I went back to the hospital. I was ready for them to perform the surgery or whatever. We had communion, and it wasn't the first time that I, you know, stood in faith for that. But I don't know, I, I believe that it was something different about the communion. Maybe it was the move of God, I don't know. But I did notice something different and I aimed my faith at that as I normally do. And I said, I don't feel any pain. And she said, what? I said, girl, I think God helped me. <laughs> well, isn't it powerful how somebody's life can be changed like that? How that young lady's life was transformed because she took communion. Listen, gang, miracles are waiting. They're contained in that body and contained in the blood of Jesus that we take. When we take communion, we are literally experiencing God's manifest presence. And those miracles are available to you. And like I mentioned, we, we want to get this understanding because we're going to apply it to whatever situations in our lives at the end of this program. So maybe you need to go and get some bread and get some grape juice to go, to go to your refrigerator, grab some if you haven't got any uh, yet, or if you don't have any at your house, you can, you can enter in by faith with me still. We're going to extend and believe God with you for the miraculous power to still touch your life. But listen, what you're hearing and what we're talking about is where so many of us have missed it. So many of us have had a lack of knowledge. God said, my people are destroyed because of a lack of knowledge. 
People have been robbed of the power that comes from communion. But there's power in the body and the blood of Jesus. That's why God gave it to us. Not just as a remembrance, that's part of it, but as a manifestation and an opportunity for us to experience the manifest presence of God in our lives and in our situation. Now let me read this scripture to you from 1 Corinthians chapter 11. It says in verse 23, Paul said, For I've received from the Lord what I also delivered to you, that the Lord Jesus in the same night in which he was betrayed, took bread. The same night he was betrayed. Maybe you've been betrayed. Maybe you've been mistreated. Maybe you've been taken advantage of. Maybe you've been sick and your body has betrayed you. Jesus was betrayed too. And how can a man, the very night that he's being betrayed, take communion? And yet that's exactly what Jesus did. He took communion the very night that he was betrayed. And listen, folks, we've got to stop waiting until everything is perfect in our life before we take communion. We need to realize that in the midst of the storm, we can take communion, and that's when the power flows to calm the storm. The very night that Jesus was betrayed, he took communion. Why? Because Jesus knew that no matter what was happening in his life, there was power in this body and in this blood. That's what he means when he says, he prepares a table for us in the presence of our enemies in Psalm 23. He doesn't wait until heaven. He says in the presence of our enemies, whether your enemy is sickness, disease, fear, anxiety, whether it's a marriage problem, whatever, whatever the enemy is, right in the presence of that enemy, God prepares a table for us. Well, what is that table? It's the communion table. That when you take communion in the midst of your problems, when you celebrate God's presence, in the midst of your problems, and your problems are about to bow their knee to God's presence. You see, you see when, when Jesus took communion with his disciples, the Last Supper, Satan was at that table in the form of Judas. But God was at the table in the form of his body and of his blood. And they were eating the bread and drinking the cup. And the anointing was at that table. And right now, the anointing is at your table. And what is the anointing? Well, the Bible describes the anointing as it removes burdens and it destroys every yoke. And that anointing is in the body and blood of Jesus. Do you remember when the woman came to Jesus and she poured that perfume over his head and Judas complained that it was being wasted? And Jesus said, leave her alone for what she did has anointed my body for burial. Jesus said, his body was anointed by this oil when, it was, when, it, when she poured it out on him. His body was anointed. So when we, eat, when we eat his bread, we're eating his body, we're taking in that anointing. We're eating his anointing. We're drinking his anointing. And that anointing removes burdens, destroys yokes, and reverses the curses that have been in your life. You know, every one of us has a burden. Do you have some yoke that you feel in bondage to? The burden is about to be removed and the yoke is about to be destroyed because of the anointing that comes from taking communion through the body and blood of Jesus. We're going to take it in a few minutes, but let me quickly give you some of the benefits that are going to come to you from eating, and, from eating this bread and drinking this cup. These will be the benefits in your life every time you're struggling. Every time you go back to this bread, go back to this communion cup. It's so powerful you're going to experience these benefits. Well, first of all, one of the greatest benefits of eating the bread and drinking the cup is supernatural peace. Supernatural peace is released in your life. And I want to read this to you because in, it says in Genesis chapter 14 that when Abraham took communion, he had the bread and he had the cup, was prepared to take communion, and Melchizedek, the king of Salem and the king of peace, entered into the scene. The word Salem is the word Shalom. So Melchizedek was literally the king of peace. So when, when Abraham took communion, peace was released. And when you take communion, the king of peace is going to manifest in your life and peace is going to rule and reign in your heart. The peace of God is going to rule and reign in your life no matter what is going on around you, no matter what's going on uh, against you. What matters is the peace of God that's going to come upon you and rise up within you. 
The second thing we find in Genesis chapter 14 and chapter 15, when Abraham took communion with Melchizedek, which by the way is a type and shadow of Jesus. So when you take communion, you're taking communion with Jesus. And when, when Abraham took communion, answers came. In other words, look at what happens in chapter 15. It says in verse 1, now after these things, after what things is he talking about here? After Abraham took communion with Melchizedek, after these things, the word of the Lord came to Abraham. What does that mean? That means when you take communion, the word that you need to hear from God, the answer that you need from God, the wisdom that you need from God is going to come. It says the word of the Lord came after these things. So the word of the Lord is going to come after we take communion. You're going to know the answer that you need. Do you need a word from God right now, an answer, a solution? It's going to come today as we take communion together. Are you ready? Now, before we take communion, I want to go over with you a third benefit in Genesis 15, verse 1, where it says, the Lord says, Fear not, Abraham, I am your shield and your exceeding great reward. He said, fear not. What does that tell us? The next thing that happens when we take communion through the body and blood of Jesus is it drives fear out of our lives. So if you've been hindered by fear or depression or negative emotions, those fearful emotions are going to leave you as you take communion. You're going to demonstrate that you believe more in the presence of God than in the presence of that fear. You're going to release faith and fear is going to leave. Now we're talking about the benefits that come from taking communion. And the fourth thing that God says is also found in verse 1 of Genesis 14 or Genesis 15. He says, I am your shield. I will be your shield. So the next thing that happens after you take communion is you're going to receive supernatural protection. God says, I'm your shield. He says that after you eat this bread and drink this cup with Melchizedek, which is Jesus, a picture of Jesus, God says, I'm going to be your shield. I'm going to protect you. You know, a shield represents protection, but it also represents favor. Man, favor is going to come into your life like never before. Are you ready? He says, I'll be your shield. I'll be your protector, and I will release favor in your life. Now watch this. The next thing that God says happens is he says, I am your exceeding great reward. The Amplified Bible says, I am your abundant compensation. I am your exceeding great reward. I'm your abundant compensation. What does that tell us? It says that as we take communion, God is going to provide us with divine provision. And not only do we get divine protection, he said, I'll be your shield, but divine provision. There's so many promises and benefits connected to communion. We could just keep going and going and never run out of these benefits. In Genesis chapter 18, I want to give you another one. After Abraham took communion again, after Abraham cut the animal in half and the blood was shed and he made a covenant with the Lord as the Lord passed through the pieces of the animal, it says that Abraham and Sarah were able to finally have a baby. What is this? Genesis 18, 14 says this. Is there anything too difficult for the Lord? Let me ask you something. Do you have a situation that seems too difficult for you? Well, nothing's too difficult for the Lord. And through the body and blood of Jesus Christ, God says there will be nothing you need in your life that is too difficult for Him to provide. I want you to know that communion is going to bring to pass or help bring these things to pass. There is a release of God's manifested power to make impossible situations possible. Every one of us knows what it's like to be going through something that seems impossible. Get ready, because it's about to turn around. Well, I know you're ready to receive these miraculous benefits that come from taking communion. It comes as we walk with Him in fellowship. And as we take communion, we're releasing our, uh, the manifest presence of God, our fellowship with God. We're communing with His body. We're communing, we're communing with His blood. You may have felt like life was working against you, but you're awakening to the power, the understanding that, that comes from knowing that you're God's beloved. You're His precious child. I don't want you to spend one day without being aware of God's presence with you and God's presence working in you. That's why I'm sharing with you these truths about Holy Communion. 
Now I want to share another testimony with you before we actually take communion. And Why do I keep telling you what someone else has experienced? It's because one, I want you to build your faith and activate your faith and prepare to believe what God said He'll do. But it's also important because whatever happened in someone else's life can happen in your life. How do I know that? Because the Bible says the testimony of Jesus is the spirit of prophecy. What does that mean? It means that when somebody shares their testimony, it's a prophecy or a prediction, if you will, of what can happen to you when you put your faith in the body and the blood of Jesus Christ. Now, I want you to hear this testimony and release your faith to receive whatever it is you need today. Watch this. Uh, I I had a really bad gout problem with my foot. Uh, I had an attack two months ago and it lasted for a long time. And then it came back and took communion last Sunday. And in three, four days, it was completely gone. Now, my announcer is going to come and share some information with you about how you can continue experiencing this life-changing, burden-removing, yoke-destroying power in your life every single day. This is something that Jesus said, as often as you do this, Do in remembrance of me as often. He wants us to do it often. Well, you can do it every day. And remember, when we come back, we're going to take communion together. And I'm going to pray for you. And I'm going to pray for God's supernatural manifest presence to show up and manifest in your life. And folks, these benefits are going to begin to show up in your life on a regular basis. Watch this. For your gift of $35, Pastor Gregory Dickow would like to send you the Communion Life Package. Through these resources, you'll receive the understanding of how eating the bread and drinking the cup releases the power of God into your life and how communion will drive out sickness, drive out fear, and cause the mountains in your life to melt away. Receiving communion is a point of contact for God's power to flow into your life. This power-packed package includes the DVD of today's message, the landmark audio teaching, Power of Communion, the 30-day devotional, The Precious Promises of the Blood of Jesus, and a 30-day supply of communion elements. You'll also receive a communion prayer card as a tool for you to confess God's blessings over your life as you receive communion. As a bonus, you will receive Pastor Dickow's recent CD teaching, Forget None of His Benefits, that will show you the power of remembering all the benefits that come through Jesus. This Communion Life package can be yours by calling the number on your screen and sowing your seed of $35. Join the thousands of believers around the world who have already seen the results of this package and call today to see all God's blessings activated in your life. So get your elements ready with me. Get your bread, get your cup. If you don't have some matzah or grape juice, get some bread, get some water if that's all you have. Are you ready? Let's pray and let's take communion. Father, thank you that Jesus did it all. I pray for the person watching right now that as they take communion with me, as they take communion really with you, Lord, that whatever is missing in their life is going to be found. Whatever is broken in their life is going to be healed. Let's take the bread and let's receive it. Jesus broke it and blessed it. And I want to lead you in this blessing and in this profession as we take this together. Say this out loud. Say in the name of Jesus, I believe the body of Jesus Christ is anointed. Every burden, therefore, is going to be removed. Every yoke is going to be destroyed because of the anointing. As I eat this bread, I'm eating the anointing and I'm communing with God. I'm becoming one with this anointing. Say that. I'm becoming one with this anointing when I eat this bread in Jesus' name. Amen. Let's receive it together. Praise God. It's powerful. Listen. God is so good. Father, we thank you for your anointing being released right now in every person's life. Burdens being removed. Yokes being destroyed. In Jesus' name. Now let's take the cup. And I want to lead you in this profession as well. Say this out loud. Heavenly Father, I believe your blood has been shed for me. I believe your blood is healing to my body, refreshment to my bones. I believe your blood cleanses me. And I drink this cup and receive your blessing. I receive your healing. I receive your power in Jesus' name. 
Amen. Let's, let's receive the cup of blessing. Father, thank you. I just release healing right now. I release blessing right now. I declare burdens removed and yokes destroyed in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, now listen, folks, what we just experienced, it is supernatural. I want to proclaim something over you today. I want to declare that you have been found not guilty. No matter what has been oppressing you, I want to declare over you that you're not condemned anymore. You're not guilty anymore. It doesn't matter what's happened in your life, how many times you've blown it in the past. It just got washed away through the blood of Jesus. It just got lifted through the body of the Lord Jesus. I'm telling you, real communion changes things. Real communion changes people. God wants your healing. He wants you whole in your spirit, soul, and body. That's why God instructed us and He led us to take communion together today. But listen, I want you to understand something. This is a lifestyle that we can live, not just a one-time event. We initiated something today, but I want you to believe with every fiber in your being that the cup of blessing and communion life is for you every day. I want to help you to make God's power and His blessing an everyday part of your life. Today was just the beginning. That's why I'm committed to taking communion with you every day for the next 30 days. What I want you to do is you heard my announcer and I want you to call and order this communion life collection. I'm going to send you a whole month's supply of the elements. It all comes in a box with everything that you need, all the 30 days of elements for communion, but also in this collection is some amazing material, the power of communion. This is um, a teaching that will transform your life all about the grace and the power that you can walk in every day. And I'm including my 30 day devotional on the precious promises of the blood of Jesus. And there's just so much more in this collection, 30 supernatural blessings of the blood of Jesus Christ. This devotional will serve to remind you of his promises every single day, every month for every area of your life. It'll dramatically set you free in areas that you didn't even know that you could be free from. I'm also going to send you the teaching that you just heard as an, and as well an additional teaching to encourage you to seek God every day. Let's make a decision to experience this power over the next 30 days and beyond. Think about what your life would look like after receiving this cup of blessing every day for 30 days. Are you ready to find out? Watch this. This communion life package can be yours by calling the number on your screen and sowing your seed of $35. Join the thousands of believers around the world who have already seen the results of this package and call today to see all God's blessings activated in your life. Love covers a multitude of sin. When we're walking in love with one another and there's a unity there that the Bible says, when the world sees the love that you have one for another, that's when it's going to know you're really my disciple. Love changes everything. Join Gregory Dickow right here on this station for the all-new Changed by Love broadcast. Discover God's love for you and be changed forever.